always say that radiation oncology finds us rather than us finding radiation oncology. We think it's the best kept secret in medicine. It was really clear to me going through the residency application process that UH was going to be my number one choice. And there's so much stuff to offer. Coming here as a resident, as a hospital, there is basically anything that you could want to train with. We have Proton, we have Gamma Knife, there's lots of brachytherapy, we have a children's hospital, so there's a lot of pediatric cases. In our program, you are hands-on from day one. That means you are seeing all of the consults, you are seeing all the follow-ups, you are seeing all of the on-treatment visits. Attendings want you to put in your contours, review the plan with them. Because when you get to where I'm at as a PGY-5, the expectation really is that, you know, you could run the service yourself. I'm frequently meeting with the residents and talking about different ways of teaching information. We've made a lot of changes over the past couple years just in response to the residents and their preferences in how they learn. They don't want to tell everyone, well, this is what you have to do. They say, no, what, what do you want to do? Because this is the rest of your life and this is your practice. One of the most exciting aspects of this program is that we are at an NCI designated cancer center with heavy involvement in clinical trials. As a resident, if you want to participate in that, it's available to you. You are so close to the newest data and really ready to bring that new information out and help other practices advance what they're doing. What makes a great center and a great residency program is the people. There's an open door policy for all the faculty here for the residents to learn from. They can come to every single faculty member's office, even if they're not on their rotations, to ask them questions, discuss research, or just talk about life in general. All of the residents that have graduated, I keep in touch with, and it makes my day when they send pictures of them on a podium giving a talk or of a newborn that just came into their lives. And to know that the residents that we trained here are living out their dreams wherever that may be. Radiation oncology training is, is a long, long road, and it's challenging. It is. It's challenging to work with oncology patients in general, but by the time you leave this program, you really feel confident to strike out on your own, and I feel pretty much ready. Of course, important, your own career is important, but if you focus on the patient first, I think everything else follows. The thought of someone using x-ray therapy to treat their cancer is scary, and the residents really are pivotal in gaining those patients' trust. Equally as important in our program is good people who truly care about patients. Everybody is really concerned about patient care, but then also coming from a fellow or a resident standpoint, everyone really wants their trainees to learn really well. And I think everyone really cares about the future of the residents and the trainees here. As you are interviewing, I want you to think of what your values are and if they align to the programs you're interviewing values. My goal is to make sure that each of you obtain an excellent job that you want after completing residency training here, and I personally will help you to accomplish this. I think at the end of the day, if you are working with people who get along, who understand the value of teamwork and the value of the mission that the organization has, that's really the foundation for a successful training program. So I think it's really those three things that, that brought me here.